what's up guys back again with another video so this episode I'll be showing you about the boolean logical operators they're pretty simple and um, as in the title they're only used for booleans and you can't use them for numbers like we did with the other arithmetic operators so anyway so we're gonna make a new thing here oops boolean operators okay and then there's like a bunch of them kind of, but we're going to go over like the six main ones. So anyway, um, we'll just demonstrate each one of these six. And um, so yeah, we're going to have, um, hmm. we'll have a uh, output statement for each one of these. But first we're going to have uh, two booleans here. Boolean x equals true, boolean y equals false. Okay. So we have these two booleans, right? So if we print them out individually, then we should get uh, true and false, or their values, I'll put it basically. There we go, so we get true and false. So let's see what happens if we use the AND operator. So to do the AND, we could do sout um, x, and then AND sign, and then y. So let's see what happens. So it turns false. So how do we get a true and how do we get a false? Basically for the and, it has to meet the certain requirement that they both have to be true or they both have to be false basically. So let's test that out. So if they're both false, then we get false. But if they're both true, then we get true. This um, this is also used in math too, if you don't know. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, so if we change this back here, then we'll uh, do that. One of them is true again, so it'll be false, of course. And so now we have the OR operator. So to the OR, we could uh, do this thingy, this little sign. And that's the sign right above the enter key, so do that. And that's the OR operator. So for the OR operator, it has to meet the requirement of having at least one true. So if we run that, then we get true because there's definitely one true in there. But if it has more than one true, um, let's try that. Let's see what it returns. It should return uh, true since it has one or more. Or at least one, right? Okay, so that's pretty cool. But we have another one called the X or operator, I believe, and so, and we use it by doing the that sign thingy. And what this one is, it has to have at least one, and no, actually only one that's true. It can't have at least one, it has to have only one that's true. So if there's two trues, then it won't work. But if there's one true, then it'll return true. So that's why we get that. So let's find, let's test that out. Let's have both of them true. And then it'll return false because it can't have both true. It can only have one true to meet the requirement. Okay. So now we have the short circuit operators. So short, oops, short circuit uh, and so sout. And then we'll have uh, x and then double and y. So that's just for the short, short circuit. So the uh, double and here works differently because what it does is it checks both of these and it says if the first one is false then automatically just put false basically. It's a short circuit. I don't know. It does it like, I don't know. It's weird. But so let's say we have a true here, double true. And usually with double true, of course, if it has and then it's going to return true, which is exactly what it does. But this, if it's false, it's not going to go ahead and check Y because X is already false. So it doesn't need to check Y. So it'll return uh, false automatically. So if this one's already false, why go ahead and check this one? Because both of them have to be true anyway. So that's what that is basically. So there's another way we could do this. We could have like multiple. So we, if we put like a parentheses here and have multiple operations. So um, X is not equal to Y. So if this is false, if they're, that's, that's going to return false because X is actually not equal to Y, right? So we have and, let me say, X is, uh, Y is equal to X, same thing pretty much. So they're both going to be false. Oh, well, we'll do one that's true actually, so we can demonstrate. So it's going to turn false automatically, right? 
but let's say we both have these as you know not equal then we should get true and we get true that's good so basically it's going to check the first one first as long as this is true it'll carry on but if this is false then it won't carry on it's going to say false so yeah that's how you do that so we have the short circuit uh, uh, or also short circuit or which is basically the same thing except that um, if, it, if the first one is true then it's automatically just going to be true so I'm going to check the next one if the first one is false then it's going to go to the next one basically like that so if we have um, this one's false so this one's that okay so if we have double this that's the uh, short circuit or so let's see what this prints this should reprint true because at least one of them are true so that's good but if we have the this thing here take off true let's see what happens then we get true also so if the first one is true then the second one is automatically assumed to be false or true it doesn't it doesn't even care it's just going to check the first one if the first one's true then the whole thing is true basically but the first one's false it's going to move on to the next one because there's an or so at least one of them has to be true so um this is actually going to be an and statement because they're both true but it doesn't care because it's only checking the first one and the first one is true so yeah, I hope that makes sense a little bit. Just play around with it. And then finally, I think we have one more, right? Yeah, we have one more. Okay. And this is the not operator. This one's uh, pretty simple. So it just returns the opposite. So not x will be, let's see what x is true. So all it's going to do is return false. And then same with y. y is true. So it's going to return false again too. And then, so let's change y to false, so it should return true then, right? Because we're doing the opposite, and we get true. So that's it. Those are the basic uh, Boolean operators, um, Boolean logic operators. So I hope that you enjoyed this little episode. Uh, if you liked it, uh, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and I'll be posting a video every day, hopefully. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll help you, and see you later. Peace.